this is this of apple so now we will see the list of important diseases in apple so my name is anand shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in nambal university so these are all the list of important diseases in apple so apple scab which is caused by venturi anacolis and powdery mildew podospora leukotrichia pink disease cortisium salmonicola and fire blight of apple irvinia amylovara and crown gall which is caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens and a bitter pit which is caused by glomerella cingulata so now we will discuss uh, in detail about one by one the first disease is scab which is caused by venturia inequalis on the leaf we can see symptoms can be seen on the both surfaces of leaves upper surface as well as the lower surface initially on the lower surface olivaceous spots can be seen olivaceous spots along with the wavy margin wavy margin olivaceous spots can be seen on the lower surface of leaf on the corresponding upper surface we can see here in the corresponding upper surface brown to black color valvated depressed spots can be seen on the upper surface on the lower surface olivaceous spots can be seen on the upper surface brown to black color valvated depressed spots can be seen on the upper surface of leaves so leaves also called in later stages and a little bit uh, yellowing symptoms also can be seen and they called in later stages of crop growth so coming to the symptoms on the infected fruits so far we had seen on leaves so coming to the symptoms on the infected fruits we can see black corky uh, outgrowth i mean black corky outgrowth can be seen on leaves we can see here rough corky outgrowth can be seen on fruits and cracking symptoms also can be observed here corky outgrowth circular uh, uh, outgrowth can be seen fruits along with uh, you know crackings also can be seen and uh, in later stages uh, what will happen so this entire fruits uh, size of the fruits also greatly reduced along with uh, so market price of the uh, fruit is greatly reduced because of this corky outgrowth as well as cracking symptoms and the taste also uh, uh, greatly reduced i think so so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, collection of all the infected leaves that was fall down and you know uh, uh, which are fall down from the apple plant that can be collected and burned because this collected sorry this uh, dropped or this fall down fall the leaves are act as a source of primary inoculum so burning can be very essential along with spraying of bodo mixture 1% or copper oxychloride 0.2% can check this disease the second one is powdery mildew which is caused by podospora leukotrichia it's one of the important diseases in uh, apple if you see white color powdery growth can be seen on leaves and as well as fruits also white color powdery growth can be seen mainly the white color powdery growth can be seen on uh, uh, leaves and uh, on, uh, mostly where whatever the powdery mildew we can see white color powdery growth and um, other important symptoms are the infected leaf sores brittle and very hard if you touch we can clearly uh, sense it and uh, it's a very hard and brittle so along with the infected twigs also covered with the white color powdery growth so fruits also get be affected and you know uh, cracking slight cracking it's not complete cracking slight cracking and discoloration also can be uh, observed on uh, infected fruits so coming to the management aspects uh, proper pruning and clean cultivation can be required because uh, uh, fallen leaves can uh, serve as a primary inoculum so better to uh, remove or burn all the infected leaves i mean uh, uh, fall leaves and spraying of wettable sulfur 0.2% and dinoca 0.5% can be uh, can be also be recommended and tried for this disease the third one is fire blight which is caused by irvinia amylovara it's a very 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 important disease this pathogen can uh, can lay the foundation for plant bacteriology so initially this disease was first reported in hudson valley in 1718 so later this disease was first described by tj barrill in 1882 it's a very 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 important disease this disease laid the foundation or road map for the development of plant bacteriology he is the scientist tj barrill who discovered the first plant bacterial disease that is fire blight of apple so coming to the symptoms why it is called as fire blight so if we see the apple fire blight infected plant from long distance so due to wilting the leaves of the plant look like to firing symptoms or it it look likes to catching the fire that's why it is called as fire blight so coming to the symptoms we can see symptoms can be seen on fruits leaves 
and infected pigs almost all the parts can be seen the uh, symptoms but main symptoms can be seen in uh, so here the infected leaves are dried or infected leaves are called inwards so inward curling of leaves and drying of leaves and as well as twigs also can be seen the first symptom so the second one is the in yellowing uh, yellowing of leaves can happens in later stages they will uh, completely dried and fall down from the infected plants so infected branches also uh, bended and uh, and uh, die back symptoms can be seen and they also bend it downwards so coming to the fruits if we see the fruits infected fruits produce some water soaked gummy uh, you know gummy ooze out like substance can be produced so the fruit size can be reduced along with the mummification also can be observed in some rare stages we can see here mummification of fruits and sometimes the mummification of fruits also can be observed but some white gummy ooze out or water soaked ooze out can be exist i mean exudated from the infected uh, fruits under high humidity conditions uh, it uh, it happens because you know high humidity conditions also we can see this uh, milky ooze out or the bacterial ooze out from the infected uh, uh, fruits especially so coming to the management aspects so proper pruning proper pruning of the uh, blighted twigs uh, uh, can be uh, recommended along with uh, spraying of uh, uh, streptomycin uh, streptomycin at the rate of 500 to 1000 ppm can uh, greatly helps to manage this disease so coming to the fourth one soft rot, soft rot which is caused by penicillin expansum so we can clearly see softening and rotting of the infected fruits so this is mainly due to during let us consider harvesting is uh, uh, everything is gone good and during a transportation or during a i mean you know uh, during a handling and storage or transportation there may be small wounds or uh, that happens uh, uh, maybe due to insects or some other uh, uh, mechanical reasons so small wounds are happens so this wounds are the main reasons so later stages due to this wounds are the insects made by i mean wounds made by the insect or other uh, cultural operation transportation and storing the softening of tissue develops and the, it spreads to the entire fruits we can clearly see initially small softening can see then later spread to the entire fruits so this fetches zero market price are completely lost water i mean light water is soft lesions can develop and it is spread to the entire fruit and the rottening also can be seen in later stages of uh, uh, in a fruit so coming to the uh, bitter rot which is caused by glomerella cingulata so we can see here depressed spots are depressed uh, initially we can see here uh, the depressed skin can be seen here along with uh, uh, initially small black spots can be happens later the small black spots are uh, uh, converted to depressed spots along with the white color a uh, uh, little bit white growth can also be seen on the depressed areas so if it uh, magnifies and we can clearly see the acerulae along with the pinkish mass of spores we can see the pinkish mass of spores so this pathogen produces acerulae and where we can clearly observe the pinkish mass of spores uh, uh, from the depressed regions or the depressed spots so coming to the management aspect of spraying mango zip 0.25 percent can be recommended along with the treating of mango zip treating of mango zip 0.25 percent can effectively manage this disease so coming to the questions related to ars or net and for other exams so they can ask causal organisms of apple scab which is caused by injury and aqualis and uh, very 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 important is fire blight of apple definitely they will ask many questions this fire blight of apple so the first one is the fire blight of apple which is caused by irvinia amylovara now previously it is called as micrococcus amylovara later named to irvinia amylovara it is the first plant bacterial disease which was discovered by tj barry in the year of 1882 they will ask questions like this causal organism fire blight of apple irvinia amylovara who discovered the first plant bacterial disease fire blight i mean uh, tj barry and what is the year involved i mean which year the first plant bacterial disease has been discovered 1882 uh, what is the first plant pathogenic bacteria that involved in the development of plant bacteriology uh, late blight of sorry sorry uh, it is a fire blight of apple something like that uh, they will ask initial actually this, this fire blight was initially discovered in pear later the same symptoms also can be observed in uh, apple also because the both are belong to the same family so 
uh that's why they call it as a fire blight of apple and pear so regarding that uh, this is a very very important one and uh, so other if you if you take other uh, uh, symptoms i mean other diseases there might be chance of asking casal organisms or but uh, this apple scab and as well as fire blight is very very important definitely there will be a uh, and i think uh, i had seen this uh, fire blight of apple question in uh, uh, the many areas they may ask here they may ask casal organism they may ask uh, a scientist involved in uh, uh, you know involved in the development of first plant bacterial disease moreover tj barrel is considered as a founder of plant bacteriology not father because e, e f smith that that uh, sorry uh, hope you guys will know that e f smith is considered as father of plant bacteriology whereas tj barrel is considered as founder of plant bacteriology or phytobacteriology so this is about apple